What's up everyone? My name is Dora. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel everyone. I am so excited for this tutorial. Today I'm giving you the best room spray recipe ever. Seriously, it's a bold statement to make, I know, but my room spray rivals any professional room spray on the market. I love home scenting like candles, diffusers, potpourri, etc. If you do too, check out my playlist, Home Scenting. I fell down a room spray rabbit hole and that's where I've been living for three weeks, researching and experimenting like a crazy person. I've learned so much. So if you look up a hundred room spray recipes right now, they're all gonna have water, essential oils, and perhaps witch hazel or alcohol. These, no offense, but these recipes are so ridiculous that they're borderline laughable. The only way this type of recipe makes any sense is if you're really into hippie living and you only do 100% natural recipes, which is fine, I applaud your restraint. But the recipe I'm about to give you is not that. It's a very simple recipe with two ingredients that yields vastly superior results. As always, check out the description for helpful information like the recipe, tips, updates, the supply list, and more. If you've looked up room spray recipes, you'll recognize the following ingredients. Water. The only logical explanation for adding water to a room spray is to create a lighter spray. Now, why anyone would want to purposely create a lighter, less concentrated, less fragranced room spray is beyond my understanding. But if you do, it has to be distilled water, and then you must also add an emulsifier, a preservative, a fixative, and a solubilizer, or you'll have a real disaster on your hands. Grain alcohol, you can actually use this as a solvent, but you need to use a high proof of 95% or 190 proof for best results, like Everclear, which is actually a good substitute for ethanol. It's an effective solvent, preservative, and emulsifier. A high proof vodka isn't as great as it doesn't fully dissolve fragrance, but it still serves as a preservative and an odor disperser. Witch hazel isn't effective, its dispersing abilities are limited, it's not a true emulsifier, and it's not an adequate preservative for more than a few days. Basically, you can use it if you want, but you'll also need an effective emulsifier, solubizer, and preservative. And even with all those, it's not as good as ethanol or perfumer's alcohol, which we'll get to in a minute. And I do not recommend using isopropyl alcohol, also known as rubbing alcohol, as it's harsh on skin and can cause irritation. It has a very offensive odor that can cause respiratory is issues and interfere with the room spray's natural scent profile. It's not an effective solubizer. It also contains water, which can interfere with your spray, leading to instability. Now that's out the way, let's get down to business. There are three main components in a room spray, scent, solvents, and fixatives. For scent, you can use essential oils, fragrance oils, or blended oils. Personally, I prefer fragrance oils because they have the strongest scent throw, a huge selection, are cheaper, and their scent lasts a lot longer. The only downside is that they're synthetic, but as long as they're skin safe and free from phthalates, parabens, and other harmful CMR substances, I don't see the problem. A solvent is the base that dilutes fragrance so it can be sprayed. As it evaporates, it disperses scent into the air. Without the solvent, the fragrance oil would be sticky, it would land on surfaces as oily spots, it wouldn't spread in the air, and the scent would not disperse. Basically, the solvent turns a thick, viscous fragrance oil into a light, misty liquid that's perfect for spraying. The best solvent is TSDA SD-40B, denatured by tert butyl alcohol. Perfumer's alcohol is the same, but it is a commercial term. You do not have to specifically buy perfumer's alcohol. Let me explain. Denatured alcohol is ethanol or ethyl alcohol that has an additive, which is the denaturant, to make the alcohol unsuitable for consumption, which exempts it from beverage taxes, which makes it cheaper. 
If you see SD, SDA, or TSDA, they all basically stand for specifically or specially denatured alcohol. 40B is a type of formula created specifically for cosmetics and perfumes. It's ethanol denatured by tert butyl alcohol, which is the gold standard when it comes to making perfumes or room spray. Now let's talk about the importance of proof. 200 proof ethanol is best, but 99.5% performs identically at a better price point. 90 proof is even cheaper, but it's not recommended as this is where problems start to arise. So now you know what to buy. You do not have to buy quote unquote perfumers alcohol. As long as it's SD-40B, which is ethanol denatured with tert butyl alcohol, with at least 99.5% proof, you're good. Fixatives are optional, especially when using perfumers alcohol, but they do improve quality, longevity, and stability. They help scent travel further and fill rooms more effectively. They slow down evaporation and make fragrance last two to three times longer. There are many fixatives that you can use, but in my experience, the best ones are dipropylene glycol and benzol benzoate. Dipropylene glycol also creates a smoother spray texture and benzol benzoate can intensify certain floral and sweet notes. During the experimental phase, there was one recipe that stood out above all the rest. I even tried more fragrance, but it didn't spray as good, and believe it or not, it wasn't as strong. So now I'm going to give you the very best recipe. Again, you don't have to add fixatives if using SD-40B. It's not necessary. But I did get better results with the fixatives. Use the same recipe with or without fixatives. I'm using one part alcohol plus 1.5 parts fragrance, which is a very concentrated recipe. I wouldn't add more than this. If you find this recipe too strong, or if it leaves a sticky film, use less fragrance. This recipe yields professional results that rival any other room spray that I've bought. Mix ingredients and allow them to marry or cure for 48 hours for best results. So now I get to prove to you just how amazing and effective this room spray is. I made a roasted pine cone room spray to emulate a real tree smell. I sprayed about four to six squirts, then sat on the couch. It smelled amazing. But about 10 minutes later, the scent was so strong that I had to leave the room. And my living room is huge. It only, you can only see about half of it when I sit. I had to wait about 15 minutes and then at that point, the scent was perfect. All right guys, thanks so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. For more awesome tutorials just like this, subscribe now.